<clears throat> hey, hey, it's a beautiful day and I can't stop myself from smiling. Right, so this, this is actually the day after the failed wild camp. So the last video, it should be out by now, I had to abandon the wild camp up in the Peak District. So this is the Sunday after. So I've got, I've got an hour spare. So I thought I'd come out with a VHF radio, a flask of tea, sunglasses, and see if we can make a contact or two. <clears throat> so I've brought with me the Raycal Cougar VHF radio. I'll show you the I'll show you the radio in a few minutes when I get to a little bench. The takeoff is relatively decent for a local country park. It's only it's only a few minutes drive from where I live, so the convenience of getting here and the height makes for a nice little place to come out to. So the sun is mostly out. There's a um, big old dirty cloud in the sky, but it's still got a chill in the air. So when the sun goes behind the dirty old cloud, you can feel the, the breeze has got a bit of a chill to it, but it's absolutely fine. I'm only here for about an hour anyway, just to get a bit of fresh air and see if we can make any contacts on two meters. sling pack uh, flask of tea oh it is a bit windy though let me just fasten this up a little bit oh. right so the plan is So the plan is to use, I'm using the uh, Raycal Cougar, so I'll just set this up. So the way that the Raycal Cougar works is, uh, this is the radio part in here, let me just take this off. This is the radio bit itself. I can if I wanted to. Got the battery. Are you right? Bring you around a little bit. Bring you down a little bit. I can operate the radio this way. So. This is a problem that I do have with these uh, uh, foldable antennas is that the crease on it can flip over so uh, that does need fixing in a minute On here we have the um, Squelch on and off and then the high and low volume the channel selector and there's an encryption unit There used to be an encryption unit in here. This will just do the encryption and um, Get rid of the encryption keys if you needed to but that's not the that's not used now These channels have got them programmed into on channel one, that's the calling frequency. Channel zero is one up, so that's five to five. And then two to eight, or two till nine, are S19 down. Um, so basically it brings it down to about three, 
350 or something like that. So that's how I got that programmed in. I'm going to put this unit back into the main base unit and that gives me, that will give me 25 watts and it'll give me a chance to, or 20 watts, it'll give me a chance to actually keep this antenna dirty because I'm having a real difficulty keeping this straight on this unit. in there and just in case put patch cables back in I'm hoping that this antenna will play ball that's the make I don't know if you can see that or not Let's get this in. Okay. So this has off, low, mid, high um, for the power. Um, this all comes together, this switch comes on like that. Yeah. Just check this frequency is in use or not. Uh, just checking if this frequency is in use. This is Mike Zero Sierra at Zulu Tango Portable. Uh, CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Mike Zero Sierra at Zulu Tango Portable. Mike Zero Sierra at Zulu Tango Portable. Call the CQ, standing by. This is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Portable. Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Portable. Call the queue, standing by. At CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Portable. Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Portable. Call the queue, standing by. CQ CQ this is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Portable Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Portable calling CQ standing by I've only heard a couple of stations on so far I think it's it's most likely that the antenna <coughs> is um, struggling to get out from here I mean, two meters is getting really quiet locally as well. Right, I'm going to change location. I'm going to walk another 15 minutes back around the other side of the park and see if that just gives me an extra few meters of clearance and see if it gets as wind a bit. Let's see if I can get out of the wind a bit.
let's see if we can make a difference be in this location. Right. I've brought with me a carrier bag because there's just so much rubbish around these sort of places. I have to just take some out with me. Right then, let's see what happens. What I've learned, you have to give these a little bit of TLC when you fold them out. I put a bit of tape around as well, just to give a bit of support. Okay. the channels. Sounding a bit scratchy, but I, I say about a four and a one, but there's no meter on the radio. But in my ears, you sound about a four and a one. Back to you, mate. <laughs> Mike Zero, Sierra, Zulu Tango, Portable, QRZ. Zero J Z H. This is Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango. Yes, uh, good, uh, good morning, Carl. Uh, QTH over uh, Wellington, in Telford. Uh, you're smashing five and nine with me. Uh, Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango. Mike Zero Juliet Zulu Hotel. Yeah, Mike Zero Juliet Zulu Hotel. Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Portable. Yeah, you sound a fine. Thank you very much, Carl. Interestingly, I've just, uh, I've, I've just about five minutes ago sent you an email <laughs> about Marconi, Marconi Day, so um, I look forward to talking to you again further on that one. Let's try it once more. This is Mike, Zero Sierra, Zulu Tango, Portable QRZ. They were actually quite long distance, I say about... 25 miles or so, one to a mobile station and then one to a fixed station but on a really good uh, strong 5.9 so uh, I'm actually really pleased with that. I was going to complain about the antenna but I think it's actually doing a cracking job. <laughs> right, thank you for um, joining me on this little adventure and uh, I'll see you on the next video.